All right, students. So let's see some pictorial depictions of this mycorrhiza. As I have discussed in my last uh, section that it is a kind of mutualistic association ship and there are two different types of mycorrhiza. So one uh, I can say endomycorrhiza and another one is ectomycorrhiza and I, I have also shown you, I have also told you that uh, usually the endomycorrhiza is also called as arbuscular or you can say VAM, vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza. So you can see because of these vesicles which are being formed because this fungi is, is internal fungi I mean the, it lives inside the cell you can see the vesicles which are being formed inside the root threads and these are the arbuscular region so because of this vesicle and this arbuscular region they are called as VAM vesicular arbuscular mycorrhiza you can easily see the difference between these two portions here most of the things are internally here most of the things are outernally I mean outer side right so externally and you can see the hartig nets where where basically i have uh, discussed in my last section also that ectomycorrhiza for are forming sort of hartig nets and uh, mainly this portion is external this portion is internal right so let's talk about the uh, pictorial depiction of both the part of the plant like one is in mycorrhizal association ship another one is in a non mycorrhizal kind of association ship so particularly if you look at this picture this this mycorrhizal association is mainly benefiting the plant in the form of phosphorus you know the importance of phosphorus it is being given in the fertilizer also so both these i mean uh, you can see in this particular reaction the phosphorus is basically not soluble it is insoluble so once during the phenomena of solubilization whatever soluble interchangeable pool of phosphorus is available it is the role of fun fungi in this association shape to provide that soluble phosphorus to the plant However, you can see the uh, another plant which is in non mycorrhizal association ship here the plant is not too much benefited uh, because of phosphorus is not making them available right. So let's talk about ectomycorrhiza as I uh, told you in the last section also that it is outer uh, externally present it is growing outer walls uh, outer cell, outer out parts of the cell and once the mycelia uh, goes on growing right so they form a sheet or you can say mantle so that uh, it covers the entire root if you remember i have shown you the white threads in the first slide that is the external coating of that particular root now from this root these fungi extends keep on growing keep on growing and their hyphae is the fruiting uh, i mean the the structural pattern of fungi so they they aggregate themselves to form rhizomorphs which can easily be seen by the naked eyes and the hyphae on the uh, on this side are now penetrating in the inner side in the cortical root cells so it forms a meshwork of hyphae which we call it as hartig net if you want to see that again hartig net is this which i am talking about so if you see here the hyphae uh, penetrates inside uh, but not in the cortical root cells as it was in the case of endomycorrhiza so it forms a meshwork of hyphae called as hartig net I'll discuss more about endomycorrhiza in the next slide. Thank you.